Leopold Weiss was born in the year 1900 in the city of Lumberg in Austria into a religious Jewish family. After graduating from the University of Vienna, he began working as a journalist and traveled to the Middle East on behalf of a German newspaper. He visited places such as Turkey, Iran, Afghanistan, Palestine, Iraq, and Egypt. During his visit to Jerusalem in 1922, he expressed his opposition to the Zionist movement and spoke out against the British and Zionist oppression of the Palestinian people. He wrote multiple articles condemning the Zionist project and was falsely labelled as an anti-Semite in Europe. Therefore, he decided to stay in the Muslim world and in 1926, after spending many years in the Islamic world, he became a Muslim and changed his name to Muhammad Asad. After embracing Islam, Muhammad Asad travelled to the holy city of Mecca to complete the pilgrimage of Hajj. Muhammad Asad praised Islamic civilization and criticized the materialistic Western civilization. He stated, The average Western person, be he a democrat or a fascist, a capitalist or communist, a manual worker or an intellectual, knows only one religion, and that is the worship of material progress and the belief that there is no other goal in life than to make that very life continuously easier. During his time in Arabia, Muhammad Asad was appointed as a political advisor to King Abdul Aziz ibn Saud. Muhammad Asad travelled to Libya on behalf of the Saudi state in order to meet the Libyan freedom fighter known as Umar al-Mukhtar. Muhammad Asad provided Umar al-Mukhtar with military supplies and aid in his fight against the Italian invaders. In 1932, Muhammad Asad travelled to India, where he engaged in anti-British activities alongside Muslim activists such as Muhammad Iqbal. During World War II, Muhammad Asad was arrested and imprisoned by British authorities in India because of his contact with anti-British revolutionaries. After being released, he was employed by the government of Pakistan and worked as a representative for Pakistan at the United Nations. Muhammad Asad eventually retired from politics and lived the next part of his life in other Muslim countries such as Lebanon and Morocco, where he dedicated his time to reading and publishing books. He eventually travelled to southern Spain in order to conduct research on the Islamic history of Spain. Throughout his life, Muhammad Asad wrote many books including The Road to Mecca, the message of the Qur'an, and the principles of state and government in Islam. Muhammad Asad passed away in Andalusia in 1992.